Hello YouTube, today I got a nurse, um, well not a nurse burn, it's a burn deck for you guys. Um, so this burn deck is going to be a little bit different than traditional burn deck. Um, it's going to be having a little bit more of a combat, uh, combat centric in it. And that is to um, help it basically win more matches. Because the normal burn rate in a tournament is like 3 to 4, which 3 to 4 matches. Um, out of your um, seven or nine, I mean, you are not making it to the top table ever at that rate. So this one is um, changed. I did add a one gimmick to it to make it a little bit more fun for myself. Um, you can probably take those gimmick out and just like put in a card like Just Dessert or you know a normal good trap card burn. Um, also, you were wanting to make another choice like make it less expensive. Take out the Ghost Reaper and just make it all fusions. Um, that's, and, but turn the Ghost Reaper into um, Ghost Ogre. So let's go into the deck profile. Free Dark Lord, um, Itchy. I always struggle to say her name. She is your draw too. You can also discard her for something else. We'll get down later. To Gabriel, Gabriel returns thing, so he can like reset the board. Also, when he returns extra deck cards, your opponent does not draw for those, so he is actually. Um, useful for being able to return something and your opponent not even being able to recover on some of that now free medion the card that kind of like makes the deck playable is because when it battles half the opponent's life points that's four thousand damage pretty much right there that's a great um effect um your kind of, that's also why we play free of it um to lazan the title lord um, this guy is kind of important because he deals a thousand damage and also he can reset your opponent graveyard so they um, don't have the setup that they were wanting in some matchups. To hair click, um, hair click is more of a use to help us go for the one OTK that is possible in this deck and also to help thin out the deck. So I'll get into um, the OTK kind of works with Valhalla. You special summon your Time Lord with Valhalla. You will have Medion attack, then you'll summon your um, Dark Lord Nurse, and then you'll um, flip um, one of your um, trap cards, and you should be able to OTK with that. Um, sometimes, not always, but more often than not, you can do it with, like that. Um, free Time Maiden. Time Maiden is um, pretty important since these guys are all zero, and the, ma the ones in our main deck is. Um, free um, Banishing a Dark Lord, two Valhalla's, um, important, um, like I said, for that special summon in the engine, kind of helps make sure the deck is having something. Now, it kind of conflicts with our, uh, another card, but hopefully the opponent kind of will, uh, destroy it, and some, some warning is a thing, so that's a problem. Two Gamble, and this is kind of the gimmick I like. It's because if you call it wrong when a time lord on the field, basically your opponent gets a free turn. Your time lord doesn't um, go, so you kind of get a little bit of time, uh, space. And you are special summoning, so eh, I guess you could change it a little bit to make it more uh, uh, card demise oriented and just, just dessert. But the gamble is fun in time lord if you were wanting to go for a lull and understand that you might not get the most win but you get your you call it right on gamble you're pretty much auto winning because that's a free draw five it's basically it becomes six cents and we all know six cents is banned for a reason so it's not a great card but it's it can be fun two paths to three paths of destiny um obviously you play with your nerves Two um, Bounds of Judgment, like I said, Bounds of Judgment, you need to play it right and need to know when you're using it, but you can do it. You can definitely draw out and draw your pluses. So, not really too much of a problem here, but um, having the um, Continuous Spell card can become a neg. Um, free Try and Guess, now I did actually put in a quite a few fusions. I kind of wish I could put in like one or two more so maybe I might try to take out the castle or take out another link monster. I'm not really sure who I could take out that would be useful. 
um, because at the moment the deck is set up to um, help stop your opponent's um, plays. Um, then we have the two Ring of Destruction, a great card, just really great for burn decks, and the fact that it's at two is just it making it a lot better for what you need. Um, two non-existence, you mainly use this as a draw card. Um, you can return your Time Lords if it becomes necessary. It probably shouldn't be ever. Now, free Curse of Darkness, this is a tech choice I came up with. And testing it, it works really well because what you're doing with it is people use their spells for like draw engine. Um, so basically, it inflicts a thousand every time they do it. So it's almost like a worse, a more powerful version of chain energy, except for you don't get punished because you only got five spells in your deck. Now, for our side deck, we got free sedans. He is incredibly important because of that 4,000 attack points and um, 2,000 burn. Um, free Ghost Reaper. Our extra deck is set up to um, stop an opponent's play and kind of lead them in a vulnerable position. Change this out to Ghost Ogre if you're trying to go for the budget build um, and just go for fusions. It's You'll be okay if you really want to go for the budget build but if you go for the budget build you might have to uh, get your um, um, what's it called um, cards of demise which that cost is a lot so there's going to be some give or take on what's expensive or not expensive for you I'm sorry about that um, and then we have free effect veilers. Effect veiler is just, it's great. Free antis, basically this is for when you go first. Burn your opponent for a thousand, make them discard a card. So, not really too bad. It's not perfect, but it's also not a bad card in um, this kind of deck. And our last um, thing is Skull Inventation. That's really good because basically since a lot of people have turbo decks, you can basically, for example, um, the Spellbook Engine, which is a free card um, play. That costs them 900 life points to play this um, through Skull Inventation. And, you know, there are also monsters like the whole um, Brilliant Fusion Engine. Playing the Brilliant Fusion, that costs 600. And you can get to the point where these things start adding up incredibly quick with Skull Inventation and your opponent is now on the warning clock before they even um, had gotten through their turn just on that first play because of the combo centered so it's kinda like a force your opponent to activate this against you it's a really good card for um, those types of matchups and for our extra deck it's basically Ghost Reaper targets, which is um, Invoke Minkaba, um, ABC, Vortex, Lapis, um, Gem Knight, Raffinite, Millennium Eyes, um, what's it called? Um, Psych Frame, Lord Omega. Utopia, number 41, Kessel. Like I said, you can take out Kessel and just add another fusion. That might allow you to win more of the fusion matchups. Um, but that's... They're, they're your rogue matchups. Uh, Fright Furts and Hero. So not even that common. And then our Link Monsters, which are the common ones, which are Unicorn, um, Electromite, it's old. Goblin and the um, Sky Striker. So, this deck, like I said, is supposed to be more battle oriented, and the reason for that is to uh, help allow you to um, get a little bit more wins, like um, potentially six or getting into that eight um, win category. So, you can actually go into the, like, you know, the top 32, top 16 in a tournament. But, at the moment, it is kind of low. Um, burns are not an easy win deck because 
if you don't win game one, then you don't get to go first, and then your opponent gets to set up like three or four things. And that's actually why I like this build because you're playing the Ghost Reaper, which allows you to stop your opponent from going into some of their stun monsters or some of their setup plays that they might have were hoping to summon against you to allow them to win. So with that, hope you guys have a great day. See you guys again. Tell me what you think. Bye.